speed, camera B speed. Okay, keep your eyes closed, Lizzie. Oh, I messed with my microphone. I don't know what episode it is, so I didn't put one. I'm oh, sorry. is this 50? 51. It, we oh. missed 50, Lizzie. What? No, we didn't. I, well, we missed the celebration. Oh. Scene one, take one, A mark. But honestly, the celebration of 52 is more. Can we look at each other soon? Oh, keep your <laughs> eyes closed. I am! See one, take one, B mark. Okay, I'm introing right now with my eyes closed because we're gonna uh, forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was just saying Lizzie and I haven't seen each other's costumes. I'm blocking her out. Uh, Shane can see us. Oh, Shane's here. Hello, Shane. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome, Hi, back welcome. to the podcast. <laughs> okay, I think it's time for our outfit reveals. If you're not watching on YouTube, we're the whole podcast with our eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't spend an hour getting ready for you not to see how fabulous I look, Elizabeth. Oh, see what it is. Okay, three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> you look crazy, <laughs> Disney you Cruella. Have nails too. Oh my god! Now I finally know why women. Well, okay. If you're listening to audio, I'm Cruella. It's sickening. I look stunning. I have uh, uh, adhesive nails. Yeah. And I chose to put them on first like a fucking idiot. Yeah. And you then look great. Sh Shane was like, you need to shave your face. And I was that threw me for a loop de doo So I tried to shave with my nails on. And I realized I don't know how girls function doing anything. It's hard to even wipe. It's hard to do anything. Yeah, I had to have Shane pull down my I boxers. Ha yeah, I had to. Did you wipe them? I had to point his penis toward the toilet. <laughs> I love that. It was honestly like with him and Drag and me pointing his penis toward the toilet. It's exactly what I thought. <laughs> Were you also dressed as Cheetos? Our relationship would be. <laughs> While I'm in my Cheeto outfit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shane also has an outfit. He's participating. I feel like... I'm taking these out. I can't do it I, anymore. I don't uh, know. It was really... You know what's weird about the sound of that? You would think that would trigger my misophonia, but it actually was soothing. Really? Mm -hmm. do, does it trigger your misophonia to know that they're literally just little bowls of my spit and it's just sitting in my lap and it's the most spit that's ever been in my lap? That does not scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The spit doesn't bother me. You He's know what? Not... You know what's interesting, Shane, is I've I've been reading <laughs> everything. I've yes. been reading the, all of this. I've been reading the vlog comments on this past week's vlog. And I don't know if I like this conversation. No, we've been doing a lot where we've been eating recently, and Shane <laughs> obviously like can't take it when I'm eating. How about that our makeup's not too different? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys kind of look like <laughs> we look exactly the same. Oh, hold on. I guess you should tell me like your full vision because oh. I still don't understand. <laughs> Just Dracula dressed as a hot dog. <laughs> you're. I think you're a hot dog dressed as Dracula. No, it's Dracula dressed as a hot dog. I if don't it was even... the other way around, my shirt would be on the outside of the hot dog. <laughs> Whatever you want to do to feel better. <laughs> I don't know. Like I. I I give you an A plus for effort. Like going through the it? airport with just a hot dog costume is a bold move. Yeah. Um, I was, if they, if TSA went through my bag, they would have seen that all I had in it <laughs> was this hot dog costume and my costume for tomorrow. I feel like I'm in hell. <laughs> is it awful here? <laughs> I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm not part of it because I can't hear anything. Oh, put your headphones on, baby girl. I don't know if it's going to. I found a way to put mine on. So anyways, I was saying. Is it I... good? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I can hear at least. Well, while you figure that out, I was just saying, yes, there's a lot of people that uh, have misnophonia in the comments, but also <laughs> there's a lot of people that stand in support with me. And they're like, I also have a boyfriend or a son who has misnophonia. Uh, and Ryan or Ryland, you're so patient and calm and I understanding. I can't do this. Like, I can't take you seriously while you're doing like <laughs> the beauty guru hands while you're talking to me. Right well, now. now I understand. Like, if I was a girl, I'd be a nightmare. And I understand why, like, getting ready for the Met Gala takes 10 hands because. Because you dressed up like the <laughs> <laughs> Now you get it? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, yeah, you, you one wrong move and all your nails pop off and your hair's out of place and you're no longer photograph ready for the red carpet. I'm like disassociated. There's like something going on right now in yeah, my like, brain. I don't think I'm in my body and it's like every time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode. Oh my gosh, we haven't intro the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Sip, a spooky episode of The Sip. A spooky episode. Uh, I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Dracula in a wiener costume. Elizabeth Homo K and my boyfriend, Shane Away Dawson. What? I don't know. I was just giving you a name. Hot Shane She's away. Wild today. Hot Cheeto Hot Cheeto Dust Shaney Dawson. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like scared. Can You're I like it's like I'm scared. So we were going through I the guess co- it's spooky. <laughs> Yeah, everything about this is really spooky. <laughs> I love how much we match. <laughs> we were going through the costume store yesterday, and I was finding nothing until this Cruella outfit stood out to me, hit me in the face, really. And then I realized I'm a fake fan because... You haven't even seen the movie. Not because I don't want to, but because my boyfriend that is on the show right now won't allow me it's to watch Cruella. Every time we're about to watch a movie, I suggest Cruella every single time. I just that's not my thing. What do you mean Cruella's not your th- <laughs> Emma Stone is not your no, thing? No, I like her, but like I just don't care about Disney stuff. I'm right here. It's dark Disney. <laughs> well, you don't care about Disney stuff well, either. I want to see Cruella. But if listen, if it was like, "Oh, here's Cruella. She's going to be murdering people. It's like scary." I I'd, I'd be like, "Okay, I'll watch it." But it's Disney, so I know that's but not going to happen. It's dark, right? It's dark. Oh, you wouldn't know. <laughs> None of us would know. You haven't seen Cruella either? No. Interesting. I just not I kind of wanted to, but I kind of felt like I didn't need to. It's <gasps> like the Joker. Is this a competition? Like I'm trying to figure out like is like are we voting on which one of you <laughs> Yes, everything. Yeah. Looks crazier, better. I mean, <laughs> what? Crazier or better? Or both? <laughs> We'll accept a poll in the comment section. Vote on best costume. Shane's in the running as well as Hasat Cheeto. So, I don't know. Do you want to talk about our cinephile weekend? Do you want to well, yeah, talk you, about... You told me you watched a movie every day this week? Yeah, I watched a movie every day this weekend. And then when I started telling you that, you had opinions on the first movie I had told you about. I think I need to do grounding exercises to come back to Earth. Because I'm like, I'm gone. I'm like, I've astral projected and I'm at Crumble Cookies right now. Um, okay, what did you just ask? Okay. What, what movies, movies you we saw watched? this week? We, okay, we started with the Jake Gyllenhaal movie on Hated Netflix. Hated it. What are you talking about? Hated it. I loved it. The Guilty? Yeah. Dumb. I liked it. That's well, insane. Here's, here's the thing. Is did Shane, you like it? I thought it was fine. No. Hated it. Why? What's there to hate? Oh, me and my friend Kate were watching it, and I was like, I don't know if this is worth sitting through any longer, Kate. And she's like, no, like, I need to know, like, what happens. I was like, I don't think we do. I very much so enjoyed it. I'm glad somebody did. <laughs> did you do your own makeup? <laughs> no. Shane oh, helped me. I was going to say, because it looks really good. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Came out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this, okay, how, what, how do I... Can I take this off? <laughs> you can take it no, off. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave I it took on. my I'll things off. You can take your shirt off. <laughs> you can take your pants off. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> not this again. I can't handle it. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, now I know what I want to bring up. Um, so we, and I thought you would enjoy this because you are a fan of the ghost in my house. Um, We have a new thing that we've been finding. (laughs) No, here. Okay. Before we delve into your. This is specific to not your room. This is different than that. What you find. But really quickly, before we go into this, I need you both, all three of you to know that this weekend I was watching The Grudge with a gentleman that I'm working with. And we were. I know how it sounds. I don't know how to pose it. Anyways, we were watching The Grudge for research for a project we're working on. And he goes, what kind of fucking people go out and seek locations such as these that they know are haunted and like go about places that are haunted and like you can come back with an entity and I was like oh my fucking friend's husband Shane who literally will look a camera in the eye and say like things follow me let's go to this fucked up place <laughs> yeah and I was... like before your series even started I was like so lit and excited to like see another Shane series and then the trailer dropped and I texted him I was like can I even watch this <laughs> <laughs> so what I will say about it, maybe by the time this is out, no, I don't, I don't know when you're posting this, but part three, it definitely was a mistake, but everything happens for a reason, and I think the reason was to teach me how to clear the entities 
out of my house. Have we cleared them? No, but I, I no, no, we you. did, we did, we did, we did. No, no, we didn't because we and we realized that like you can't just buy sage and sage. If you sage wrong, then your whole life's gonna be fucked up. Well, here's the other thing. So I bought sage because I thought like when we first moved in, I was like, oh, I'll do like one of those things where I like light it and I walk around. I'm like, no, go away, whatever. Um, I didn't know that if you do that, you're actually creating a door. If you, because if you don't do it right, you have to do it in uh, circular motions yeah, around the, the perimeters of the room and in the corners. I think of the room. to close it or something. Yeah. It's like a Ouija board. So if you do it wrong, you're literally like, "Come greet me, come to my house, come kill me." Like that's what you're doing. So we haven't done the sage thing yet. But what I will say is, we found new things Get your today. Things, Chris. <laughs> We're fucking leaving. <laughs> you found nothing. <laughs> so this house is normal and fine. There's little, and they keep appearing. And I swear they weren't there th before because I'm really anal about weird things on the walls, like little paint splotches, little annoying things. Like I, I see them right away, and I want them gone. There has been um, little splats of blood that have been appearing all around the house. Every day there's a new one. Yeah, and when we first moved in, there was one in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm not so lying. Scared. And I know I I like pranked you because the room you're in, there's like a little like splotch of brown paint, but there's like it's like red blood. Okay, everyone's getting naked. I'm looking for sores. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not that kind. It's literally like somebody like you know in movies where you take a knife and you slit Whoosh. someone's throat and then it goes on the wall. Yeah, it's that because it's high up. Yeah, I had to get on a ladder to do above the get the fucking bling kitchen. doctor on the phone. We need to figure out what they were doing here. <laughs> well, then I started thinking, I'm like, oh, is there a reason they got out? Because this house is great. Like, why would they want to move? And I'm like, oh, should we call them and just make sure that I that's did not ask. why? <laughs> when we toured this house, I said, why in the world would anyone leave this? And house? they lied to your well, face. I said, the blood demon. The blood demon <laughs> that lives like, on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, the appears every day, taking them in other directions. Away from hell. <laughs> yeah, they live like two blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love this house. I love the entities. The bad ones are gone. The the new blood one, I feel like it's a sign. It's, oh, and then yesterday there was like five hundred crow or something or <gasps> crazy. But there was oh, I heard I saw that on your story. In every tree, there was like a hundred of them, and they were all just going. Wah! like over and over and over again so i was like oh that means it's a demon but then you looked it up and it was a good thing yeah i googled it and it, it said means aliens. Of birds of um it's aliens i wish <laughs> have you seen i think it's oh fuck darker skies dark skies man. dark skies god that movie fucked mm -hmm. me up so this uh, i googled small black birds going crazy in trees and it said black <laughs> birds are sun and then a van came to Take pick him, him up so <laughs> much. it said black it said blackbirds are signs of pure potential. It said potential. blackbirds singing in the dead of night. Are signs of pure potential and more. <laughs> birds that are black do not give up their secrets easily. They love to watch us marvel in their messages. The bird itself is symbolic of life in the heavens. Higher ideals, higher paths of knowing. So I just like took that as 100% fact and was like, oh, they're here to save us instead of ruin our lives. But it did scare me because they were aggressively loud and probably at least a thousand on the property <sighs> but besides that um no things are going things are going good okay well i'm trying to decide who i want to drag for shane or lizzie well for what well i have you can't drag anyone you can't drag I, anyone like <laughs> you're, yes i can cruella it's the perfect time to drag your breasts look incredible also Thank i you. made them what are they I don't want to give away the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Is it panties? It's just your guys' panties all balled up. <laughs> it's just socks. It's just socks. Clever. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very um, firm. Okay. Well, Shane. Okay. Well, first of all, got a truck. Yes. Second of Daddy all. Daddy got a truck. Daddy got a truck. And he like pranked me into believing that this was like the n Shane. Are, are we boring you? <laughs> Sorry. I'm turning off my pill alarm. <laughs> Keep going. Well, I was saying you got a truck, and I, I thought did. it was like turning a new leaf, and yes. everything was going to be great, and I was finally get to going to get to be a passenger in life. But he hasn't driven his truck since the day we got it. That's not true. Every time we go out, that's it's not true. Still, what are you talking about? I drive us everywhere we go. Okay, here's the thing. I definitely have driven it since I got it. Um, I enjoy being a passenger in your life. <laughs> I like being on the side. I like you taking care of me, and I like feeling pretty. Aww. Mm. All right. I also like being on my phone. 
<laughs> I'm like checking my emails. Today's episode is sponsored by Liquid IV, which we love so much. Liquid IV are incredible <laughs> travel-friendly packets that help you hydrate at three times the rate of one glass of water. Now, Lizzie and I are both big fans of Liquid IV. We use it all day, every day, especially when you were traveling today. The first thing she does when she gets to this higher altitude, she's like, oh, could I get a Liquid IV? To mix up with my blood. And I'm like, yes, I got you, baby girl. Uh, Liquid IV is great for before or after the gym, after a late night out drinking, if you're just feeling dehydrated in general, it gives you that extra oomph. So it contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. It's healthier than other sugary sports drinks. There's no artificial flavors, preservatives, and there's less sugar than an apple. It's made with clean ingredients, non-GMO. It's vegan and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. What makes it so effective is its cellular transport technology. It's the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium that delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream at a faster rate. Liquid IV is also on a mission to change the world. The company is donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19, and the products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. And they've donated over 11 million servings globally. They're delicious. They're so good. My favorite flavor is watermelon, and I also love their immune booster one. If you're like feeling a little bit of down, brings you right back to life. I fuck so, with that guava. <clears throat> The guava is good. So grab your liquid IV flavors nationwide at Walmart, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code SIP at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code SIP at liquidiv.com. Calm. And then my beef with you. What even is it because I got crumble cookies? Not did she just get crumble cookies. She's trashing. She tra She starts out by trashing crumble I cookies. I already made amends for trashing okay. the crumble cookies. And so now we go to crumble cookies because that was Chris's one request while he's here. He's like, I really want to get some crumble cookies. And then I order us like a bunch of crumble cookies. And then Lizzie gets behind me in line and says, I want a party pack of like, what is that? 30? 20? No, it's 12. 12. And she's going to travel with big boxes of crumble cookies in her lap all the way back to los angeles tomorrow yeah i don't see anything wrong with that i've got to feed my mans fine all right wow well, you you came out swinging about nothing <laughs> yeah you had no reason to drag us when i'm sitting here with a million reasons to drag you go for it <gasps> oh i think you're God. a fraud oh. i think you're fake oh. i think you're not a real you're not a real person <laughs> you're not a real cruella and um here's why <laughs> <She is> titties. <laughs> You have this thing where it's like, I'm gay and I'm a queen and I'm Hillary <laughs> Duff and all these things. <laughs> but when it so comes down to it, you are too embarrassed to actually live that lifestyle. I bought him a purse. <laughs> I bought me a matching purse because I wanted one. It's a little bigger. And I love these purses. And I was so excited that we're going to be purse boys. We're going to be out in the world with our purses. Yeah. And he won't wear it he's so embarrassed he's so scared he's like people are judging me oh my god at target he's like oh my god that lady just rolled her eyes at me and i'm like you're a big old fucking gay guy <laughs> who can't aren't you, you wear used those to this? coach aviators but you won't wear that purse he won't wear it and so i'm wearing a purse and i'm like get you and, I, and then he's like how do you do things like that like how are you so confident i'm like are we serious right now well i'm very uh, okay i'm it's very the way he's nervously <laughs> tapping his nails for me <laughs> well no here's the thing about my purse i'm very it doesn't match my shoes <laughs> he's like okay this is I'm why i'm too I gay for it as a matter of fact i need teddy bear shoes if i'm to wear this purse this which i have this is why i get angry it reminds me of high school you know you had that loud friend who like behind closed doors is like yes bitch yes whatever that yes. was me um but then like you dress them up in drag and you're like let's go to taco bell and like let's have fun let's do something crazy and then they're like too afraid to do it and i'm like yeah. why are you fake I'm not fake. I'm very confident in myself. And whenever I'm filming, I'm very like confident to wear and do, like I can wear my mom's wedding dress in public for an entire day. But when it's like me dressed as me in real life, wearing a purse, like, I don't know. It's like the same reason I can't paint my nails because I think the yoga moms in my yoga class would be like, look at that kid with the painted nails. Fuck Why? the yoga mom. And so it's like, yeah. I don't know. It's specific things like that where like me dressed as me wearing a purse is like, that's like the barrier <laughs> for me. I, I don't know. It's very weird. 
shirt, and then we have the same matching one. So then we walk into Target, and we're both. It wearing could be our a Teddy cringy couple thing Mark more Jacob than purses. And I'm just like, I, I don't, don't think that's fun. Like, I think it's fun to be like wear something stupid or look stupid and go out together and not care about. But I've always, I hate my body, and I'm getting better. But I have all these issues. But I've never had an issue with like wearing pajamas in public and looking crazy and not caring because like nobody really cares. And he does. He wears his purse everywhere he goes. Good for you. Everywhere he Live goes. Live your best purse life. Thank I'm you. so sorry you don't get to spread your purse and wings then, and, and he fly. bought it for me and it's like a nice purse yeah. and I don't wear it so it hurts his feelings. It and doesn't it, hurt my feelings. It, it enrages me. Because <laughs> like I, when we have kids, I don't want them to be like, well, how come daddy, when we're home, he acts really gay and then when we go out, like he's like not gay anymore. I'm definitely still gay. <laughs> I mean, but when we drive through, when we go through drive throughs <laughs> oh yeah, can I have one? Well, here's what I think is weird. I've noticed in Colorado, he goes by Ryan. Uh huh. Hey. What the fuck is that? Now, who did I say Ryan to? Everybody. We've been multiple places that ask for names, and every single place you've said uh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan. Uh, Ryan. I'm like, I looked at Chris and I was like, I guess we. Oh, this is Ryan now. Well, I don't know. Like when I'm giving somebody my card, it says Ryan, and then I don't know. I just like panic and feel weird about it. So like, I never know how to introduce myself. I have Fair. weird. I don't know. I'm I'm coming to terms with the new me in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, Lizzie. Yeah. What do you want to start with? Your plane ride in, your airport experience, or you uh, conning your boyfriend? I don't think I conned him. Okay. You think I con? You think that's a con? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, you can explain and we can all decide together. Okay. Well, actually, you know, we can start a few days back. <laughs> I think. No, we don't have to. But I did want to dox Chris really quick. Okay. What? That's not really on our list. But have you ever heard of Chris talk about his boyfriend named Kalani? Yeah, every uh-huh. day. But you've heard him say his name is Kalani. Kalani. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> so I call Chris and I'm like, hey, what's that ice cream shop that Kalani works at? And he says, oh, it's this one. I can't remember it again. Salons. <laughs> Salons. 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 Okay. This is why I'm confused. <laughs> so I go to Sloan's and he says, ask for Chucky. I said, who the fuck is Chucky? And I'm not going to ask for a Chucky. And he said, well, that's Kalani's fucking name. What? Kalani's what? legal name is Chucky. But he doesn't go by that with anyone. Except for everyone at Sloan's. Because if I called him Kalani, you said no one would know who I was talking about. The owners made him. Okay. But Wait, the that owners nuts? made him use his real name? Chucky is like a it's horror honest. movie. It's honest. It's <laughs> honest. Chucky is literally well, a horror movie character. Chucky is usually an abbreviation for Charles. Char- right. Is like, it Charles or is it Chucky? Chucky. See, see this is why I want to see his driver's license because I call <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> How did he come up with Kalani? Kalani's his middle name. Oh. Chucky Kalani? He doesn't like his first name. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if Chucky, like the actual like murderer Chucky, was like, "Well, my middle name's Kalani," like that? Just like think about it for a second. My friends call me Kalani. It makes it a lot less scary. He does kind of give me a Chucky vibe. <gasps> he would hate that. You said really? Because <laughs> Chucky is like, because you can go Chucky like evil or Chucky Cheese or Chucky from Rugrats. You know what? I love joyful, Chucky now. joyful. I, I get love it. Chucky. Now. I see joy. Let's see make joy. a Chucky. Anyway, sorry for doxing. <laughs> Sorry, Kalani. Kalani didn't recognize me because I came in with no makeup on. And he literally was like, oh, sorry, I didn't recognize you without your. And I was like, my face? Without my fucking face, Kalani? (laughs) Okay, so Lizzie calls me the other day. (laughs) Or no, texts me. Yeah. Okay, go. Anyways, that's the Chris docs. Um, So, well, I didn't call you. I texted you. I was watching Ryland's vlog. As you should. Enjoying your whole Britney truck story. Super enthralled with it. And then I get a call from my husband. And it's very clearly a pocket dial. And I just decided not to hang up and just listen in case he was doing something nasty. And by something nasty, I I mean like nothing at all really. Because he doesn't do anything. But I kept listening. And then he was like, I just can't hang up. And I was like, well, what's going to happen when he finds out? Because, like, you can see how long, like, the phone call lasted for. And he's going to be like, wait, I didn't talk to Lizzie for seven minutes. I literally texted him immediately and was like, hey, you pocket dialed me and I've been listening to you for seven minutes. I was- well, no, she goes, uh. she goes, you're around too many women. You called me on accident and I listened in for a while and you need to get some distance between you and the women. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I mean, I was mostly joking. He's putting that tone on it. Because uh, read the next part. <laughs> Just as I said so that he sent her a video. Because she he was out watching football. He was at a bar. So, of course, there's women at the bar, like, watching football But they're a football not at his game. table. They're at and other so tables. She, he sends her a video of, like, the distance between the women that, like, aren't even with him in his party of watching football. And she goes, Just as I suspected, you're surrounded by women. <laughs> send, and then she goes, Send me the menu for that place. I want a salad. And also, why am I never invited to this shit? I'd like to decline the invite. And he goes, well, you can come right now. And she goes, I can't. I'm busy. Thanks, though. And he just said, and he says, copy. And then he brought me home a salad. I love that you have, like, banter with him in texts. Like, that ended with us five years ago. Oh. Like, fun banter. Well, that's because we're always together. And I don't think Joe's having fun. <laughs> right. Okay, I, see, I, see. I think Joe is terrified and constantly under attack. And the reality of the situation is he just has a really sleepy wife at home who's like, <laughs> and sending screen grabs to her friends of like, look at how I abuse him. So. <laughs> we were flirting when I was in California about the Postmates and it was fun. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> You Me get... and you were flirting? Yeah, you don't... When? I Wait, just... what is flirting to you? Yeah, what is flirting to you? I think you think when you're being mean to me is you flirting. <laughs> what do you and you're mean? you're like, it's cute because I'm mean. I've never been mean to you in my life. <sighs> <sighs> Classify me. <gasps> <gasps> oh my God. You do that thing where like, okay, did you see that? It, I don't know if it went viral because I don't even know what that is anymore because I don't go on Twitter. But you know um, the lady from Shark Tank, Barbara? Yeah. Oh, Barbara Cortran. Right. Did you see her on the View? Oh, it was brutal. what she said to Whoopi. Oh, God! About, about the pants good American not fitting. Jeans. So Whoopi was yeah. like, "Oh, well, I, I, hopefully those pants fit around my butt or whatever." And then Barbara goes, "Well, buy a pair, and if they don't fit on you, I'll take it and make two pairs out of it." Oh my God! And it was like crickets, and it was like, "Ooh!" Ugh. But Barbara's face was like, "Huh? Ah, did I make it funny?" Oh no! <laughs> and you have that love, Barbara. By the way, I I don't think she meant anything bad, but you was not good. Now that reminds me of you sometimes, where like you'll say something to me, and I'll look at you like, "Did you?" really just say that like what and then you're just like i mean a funny i'm flirting i'm flirting <laughs> yeah sometimes our boundaries of funny are different i'm just less sensitive like here and i, I feel like i've just like this. i feel like i've said this i'm having the craziest deja vu or we've already done this uh, no i don't think we did we thought last time we were on the podcast they're all witness to it no but you know that moment where like if okay Wow, have we already done this before? What? When you say, like, to uh, your husband, like, oh, I feel ugly today. I feel fat today. Yeah. What's the right response? For no, him? you're beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so Welcome. he knows. So he Welcome. knows. <laughs> but when I say, like, oh, I feel fat, the right response is not, well, you're working on it. No! That is not true. Oh. Oh, no. This was a while. This was like a year ago. No. But I still think about it every day. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> that is so out of context. Uh, that is so, you know, because it's, you're working on that's you're, a, you're trying so hard. No, that there's only so many times. Like if you're saying like, I don't feel <laughs> there's only so many times you hear that. He's like, there's no, only so many times I can already lie. know how I feel that you're not. That you're not. No. And no. that I love you as is. And then when you get. <laughs> as is. Like a broken plate at and then Goodwill. When you, as not, is. And when you get up, his Cruella fro back. I love you. I love you as is. Uh huh. And when you get upset about uh -huh. it, I'm like, you are working on it because you. Oh, see? There it is. There. Did you hear it? You felt it, right? It made you sick. Like it made you go, oh my God. I'm sweating. <laughs> I am too. No, that no. Is, that here's is his that shirt. Is, that is not fair. Okay, here. Okay, here's the truth of it. This is why I love him, though, because I, I, I enjoy an honest person who doesn't cave to my cancer annoying things. Because I'm always self-deprecating. I'm always like wanting somebody to affirm me and tell me everything's fine. Whatever. He's the opposite. <laughs> like if I'm having a bad day or something bad is happening, for example. My, the last video I posted, there was a lot of issues um, on the back end. Sorry. The, <laughs> Behind the scenes. Means. Behind the scenes. There was a lot of annoying technical <laughs> issues. And I was like really stress, stressed. And I'm like, God, why is it going wrong? Like, this sucks, whatever. And then he was just like, there's always next time. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
So, and it was a nice way. It was like, <laughs> it was nice because, you know, I'm used to people being like, oh my God, no, everything's going to be okay. It's going to get fixed. Everything's better. And he's always just like, no, nope, can't win them all. Well, see, no, I'm a realist. Yeah. Joe does do shit like that, but it's like you can never see it coming when he's going to have the other side of the coin. Because sometimes I'll be like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I do a podcast. It's like, it is what it is. It's whatever. And Joe's like, no. You do a great podcast. <laughs> Show him this. Yeah, no, no, like, literally, I sent him this and he's like, great, awesome, it's everything. When I was preparing this costume and I told him what I was going to be, he's like, I see it. I really oh, see it. I was like, what the fuck? But then years before, when I was really proud of my shrimp on a Barbie costume, because oh. I was the phrase, toss another shrimp on the Barbie. Mm. I wore it and I made it in front of Joe. Like I made this shrimp forever. And honestly, the shrimp looked like a fucking dog's dick. But it was my, I felt so good in that piece. And I wore it out. And like halfway through the night, Joe goes, oh my God, you're that, there's that phrase, toss another shrimp on a Barbie. And I was like, yeah, (laughs) that's what I am. He's like, no, like that's your costume. And I was like, yeah, dude, I made this costume. He's like, you didn't think of that. And I went, That was the only fucking thought I had. Like, what? So sometimes he misses the mark. That was still nice, though. I'm not hearing anything. No, but he was trying to convince me that I didn't think of it and that it was an accident that we both discovered six hours in. And half the reason you fell in love with me is because I am who I am. (laughs) (laughs) I'm saying, though, you were like, it was refreshing to have somebody that's kind of authentically themselves. Listen, okay. (laughs) Stop Stop adjusting. Well, they fell for a second. Jesus Christ. Do you want me to leave? You can't call yourself authentic while moving your sock titties around. Let me say this once again. Thank you. Come to my defense, baby. When when you said that, it was at peak cancellation, peak post mating Mexican food every night, peak. Well, I'm never gonna fucking be on the internet anyways. I might as well eat everything in sight. Like I was definitely very unhealthy in that moment. Um, so you were being nice because you said you're working on it, which I wasn't. <laughs> so in your way. And I was probably, I don't weigh myself, but I was definitely heavier than I am now. But here's the thing. I know you love me no matter what. I Actually, we've never talked about it. Is there a limit? It's like, because you act like you don't care about body stuff or any of that stuff. And I kind of believe you because you're still hard. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Like, do you ever get insecure and then your butt when you're having sex, they're still hard and you're like, we're good. At my lowest, still hard. Now... Is there a line, though? I'm going to go down a list of things that could go wrong with my physical appearance. And okay. I want to know if this is a deal breaker or not. Okay. So Lizzie, toxic. you can play You can play too. I don't know if I feel comfortable. <laughs> okay. Chris, let's go get some cookies, baby. Come on, baby, Chris. Come here. It's okay. Come See, to mommy. I think this is fun. Is there something wrong with me? No, come on. It's the Cheeto fucking thing that you're not fully committed to and your Starbucks that's blinked. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just also oh. want to say before we get into this game, I oh in God. in the ways that I'm abrasive and unaware and s- rude in some ways, I was there for you. You're always there for me. You're in- the love of my life. I can't wait to have children with you. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Let's start at the top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if I go bald? Oh, that's fine. Wow. Really? Your brother's already. Bald. I mean, Whoa. I'm just saying. Whoa. Like, I'm just saying. Whoa. I think it will look it's fine. It's a choice. On you. <laughs> He's not bald. He shaves his head. It's okay. A choice. Well, I'm saying I have a visual representation of what it might look like, and it's good. You're trying to fuck my brother? Oh my god. <laughs> That's all I heard. That's because all I heard. We might be bald babies together. So, although my hairline has been killing it lately. <laughs> <laughs> they are saying that in the comment section. Yeah. They Shane, are. Shane, <laughs> he knows. Wait, uh, Lizzie. If your husband went bald, thoughts? I'd stay with him. I love Joe so much. Ah, she acted like it was such a chore. I'd stay with him. What's wrong, Chris? Oh, they don't need me. Someone's calling. Uh, it's your therapist. <laughs> she wants you back in. Okay, so that's so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Chris? My dad's bald. I love him. Wait, Chris, is your boyfriend bald? He is bald, yeah. And you love it. And you're going to stay I with him. him. I love bearded, bald, chubby men. Okay, calm down. <laughs> I'm still in a relationship. <laughs> We'll see after the quiz. <laughs> um, okay, what's next? What's next? Ooh, this is fun. Okay, my teeth. I lose all my teeth. They all fall out. That's uh, heavy. We'll get you some dentures, baby. Okay. 
Wow, Lizzie. I mean, yeah. I mean, I love Joe so much that I literally was upset when I landed here because I was watching a Sandra Bullock movie and I was like, well, I'm going to need a hug. (laughs) What? There was a Sandra Bullock movie where her husband dies in front of her and it just fucked me up when I got here. And I was like, I should have watched that. I had no idea that was coming. I mean, I knew it was coming because it's in the trailer wow. and it's the whole movie. But you think there's going to be an optimistic like we can change how bad it was. And then he dies in fucking front of her in a really fucked up way. Like literally because of her, she's the reason why he dies, basically. And he gets decapitated and then blows up. And then the movie's over. And I just thought about how much I miss Joe. Like, if he ever got a terminal illness, he'd have to take me to the woods and put me out of my misery first. I can't, there's not a world where I survive without him. Oh, yeah. No, me too. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is All right. Is let's the get right to a more fun one. How fat can that I get? That one was pretty fun. <laughs> how, how fat, fat can fat I get? How fat can you get? Before you're like, we need Before, to... Well, I wouldn't break up with you. I might suggest, like, us, like, walking together or something. If, <laughs> if it got, like, real extreme. Walking because together. here's the thing. And Aww. less physical, more like I want a partner that I'm going to be able to, like, sustain a lifestyle with. No, we were talking about it the other day that we, we like, saw an older couple walking to the coffee shop. And we were like, we want to be those people, like, retired yeah. walking to the coffee shop. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, when I get old, I know I'll feel differently when I'm there, but... My excitement about getting old is eating whatever I want, well, which no, is a toxic thing to think you about. You would still like, deteriorate faster. Like we want to live until we're a hundred. I do. Hundred? Yeah, it's right around the corner. You know how many trends we're gonna live through? You know how many TikToks we're gonna live through? We're God, gonna imagine how our right how now. our eldest generation right now feels about fucking TikTok. I know. They must be so fucking disappointed. Now <laughs> I get it. Back when people get like angry about YouTube and be like, "Oh, it's so annoying." Whatever. Yeah, I bet get they it. miss those days. I, I bet it. those people long for those days. Because mm-hmm. YouTube's never even been as bad as TikTok. In what way? Like tick, like most toxic. things on TikTok are like your stomach turning cringy. Really? I don't go. Have you so seen the know. arrest fa- thing right now? Like, there's like an what is it called trend? Mm-mm. So th- <laughs> these guys that are like wanting to be sexy paint themselves to look like bad boys or whatever, and they have those like flashing lights that look like police lights, like red and blue flashing. And they put their arms out of frame and struggle against an invisible force. And then they shove themselves up against their own walls. And then they look at the camera and go, like, it's sexy. And it's not sexy. What? It's I, the most yeah. disturbing shit you'll I, ever see. I, I it sounds like Chris is into yeah, this it. This is why I'm off of TikTok altogether. I See, but here's the thing. I have faith in humanity. And I think that a lot of these things where you see it and you're like, oh, my God, the world is going to shit. Like, people on TikTok are you know, doing these crazy things. Those are specific people doing it for attention. I think the mass it's amount a lot of people. Of people. <laughs> it's a fucking lot faith. of people. Like, have you ever been in public and seen somebody doing like a dangerous, stupid TikTok? No. no. I see people just living their lives. Yeah, that's yeah. what restores my faith. But I also in watched all of society go out and play Pokemon Go. That was rough. Okay. Well, <laughs> Chris feels attacked. When did you find the time? I still play. Okay. You still play? I don't even know what it is. I only remember because Hillary Clinton made a joke about it. And my it. mom was also playing it in Your public. Mom. She was one of the public players. I have a friend that I go hiking with and he plays it because there's a great gym on the top of Fryman, apparently. I don't even know what that means. Okay, well, I do. Since you're on the podcast, I wanted to switch gears a little bit and talk about your series. You come back to YouTube, how you're feeling about it. The third part is going up this week. Well, okay, let me just say something. <laughs> this person next to me. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, that shit. Oh, no. Wait, I, I what is Chris it. showing? He's showing. Yeah. This is awful. What is it? This Wait, is the I cringy TikTok I told you about. POV. <laughs> Uh, I don't get it. He's about to get butt fucked. They're He's, pretending uh, they're being arrested because they're looks bad boys. Like they're pretending to get butt fucked. <laughs> or they're looking to get. Do they know fucked. that? You should comment that. And maybe they'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like you're a hungry uh, pardon, bottom. Pardon me. <laughs> pardon me, sir. Excuse me. Are your parents around? <laughs> are you looking for? Are a they butt aware fuck? that you're putting shit on the internet? <laughs> it looks like you're uh, attempting a butt fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, about? you're come back to YouTube. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I do want to say this. Last time I was on the podcast, I so here's what happened. Chris was coming out for the podcast, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? Like, 
when he comes out, maybe I should just try to film something. And I had no ideas. And bef- the night before he came and you guys got here, I cried because I was like, I don't, what am I doing? I don't want to do this. Like, I'm, I, I'm not good at this anymore. I have no ideas. Like, why can't I think of anything? So I was planning on not doing it. And then he got, you guys got here and I remembered about the haunted place and I was like, I don't know if this is even going to be a good video, but let's just try to film it. And I almost backed out of it. And then I'm like, no, Chris is here. Let's just film it. So we started filming and we had so much fun. It was so fun. So then we just kept going. We went over to the, your and parents' house. And now you house. have a fucking blood demon. Yeah. And now I have more entities in my house <laughs> and a three-part series. No. And I will say. <laughs> it wasn't a planned. Like, I didn't plan it. It wasn't like something where I like came on the podcast to be like, because I didn't know. Well, that literally. So we filmed the podcast. And then after that, I was like, oh, Shane, is the plan still to try to film something for you today? And that's when you were kind of spiraling about it. And you were like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't think so. I don't know. And then the next morning you were like, well, I guess we'll try something. And then we did. And it turned in. And Lizzie helped, too, because she said, like, as somebody that watches your videos, I want to know about the demon in your house, which oh, I no. was like, really? I manifested this for myself. Yeah. So then I was like, maybe I should talk about the demon in my house. Um, so you kind of brought the demon back to life. Fuck! That power of manifestation is real! I hate it. And I will say, like, part three is coming soon, and that is my favorite part, just because, so, like, genuinely, I'm not a ghost person or a haunted person, and part three is, like, fucking spooky. Like, Dude, weird, I don't think crazy I'm gonna watch shit it. happened. But it's also, like, I'm really excited because... If people get to the end, it's a long video, but I feel like by the end of it, there's kind of a message and a point to why the universe and Lizzie guided (laughs) me to do it because it is important. It was important to me because I was really letting a lot of bad things in. And I think I've uh, got a handle on it. And the blood is interesting, but that also could just be. Uh, I am on my period. I will say that. Okay. There were multiple things. Maybe I've just been. (laughs) There were multiple things that happened even while we were filming, then like after filming and then the next day that like full 180 no. wraparounds that are like mind fucking like and you can't like you can't even write this shit like I'm you dead, look so I, funny right now. I'm I dead can't. serious like it, I was shook by like we watched part three and I literally was like. You couldn't script this if you tried. It's like, like so crazy. The of uh, the like the string of events. I literally was talking so much shit about you guys this weekend about this because I'm so like I could never in a million. So I, maybe it's you. Like sometimes you'll say things like, "Let's do this thing." And I'm like, "Fuck no! I'm not gonna play with the Ouija board." Like I'm not a dumbass, dude. I saw The Exorcist. I don't need that life experience for myself. And it's like, oh my god. We were watching The Grudge and just thinking like, why would anybody? ever jokingly do this i don't even let joe say Candyman five times mm-hmm. i don't invite people into my home yeah. on the off chance they're a vampire like myself i think i like it because it reminds me that there's something else i mean i like i do like that there's something else and i do believe in something else but i have a very idealistic version of the something else and it's very positive because i believe that if i give power to anything else that's negative anything else that's negative like, even if I just wake up and be like, well, today is fucked. Like, it's going to be fucked. Like, I woke up today a little bit. Like, it's going to be fucked. And then I bought a fucking $26 white bean burrito on accident. She's been mad about it all morning. <laughs> well, and I, I agree. And that is kind of the message of part three, which is if you put, if you're looking for negative things to happen, they will. Yeah. Oh, and my that stuck is on your dress. kind of part of it. So, yeah, you manifested that as well. And have you enjoyed the experience? Has it? Of what? YouTube. Your like, do you, like, do you think you want to exist on YouTube? What do you think you want to do next? Do you want to do another series? Do you want to focus on different things? Like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I love making stuff. I just was having fun editing, so that was my favorite part. And then posting it, and people being surprisingly nice, and all of that was incredible. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I just really, and I loved filming with Chris. That was really fun, and and I just, I loved the experience of yeah, making something and editing it, and like getting excited about. You know, because there's a thing where it was it was hard to post something because your first thought is like, oh, everybody's going to hate it. Everybody's going to hate me again. I'm going to get canceled again. Negative energy is going to come at me. But whatever. That's what I really, truly thought would happen. But then I had to, like, remember, like, well, there are a few people out there that are just going to be excited that I posted something. So excited. And, like, that's such a fun feeling. Like, I was so excited when, like, the Scream trailer came out or when things come out that I'm excited about that I don't know are coming and, like. 
So the fact that maybe even just three people would feel that way, I'm like, okay, that makes up for all the people that are just gonna be like, "Fuck you, kill yourself." Like, well, and it was so, and surprisingly like, that was yeah, we didn't there, know, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. We didn't know what to <laughs> expect going. I mean, we honestly didn't like. We didn't know if it was gonna be another round of like our lives completely being altered or what. So like, I think it was a great outcome. Like, I think it was very positive. And while I understand that this was a huge deal for you i feel like we need to also talk about morgan and how fucking stunning that woman was in that entire series her <laughs> hair was popping up i literally before i got too far into it when i saw morgan i like i was like oh shit like i paused it and texted her i was like damn bitch you looking good <laughs> but yeah shane said the same thing i mean when she walked down the first time shane was like okay well it, yeah. was, it was fun to like because i haven't filmed something in so long and it was fun to like watching Morgan walk in the room and like, you know, start with her mom and like, you know, Ryan jumping in and seeing behind Chris's camera, seeing everything happen. I like wanted to cry. I was like, oh, my God, this is I've missed this. Yeah, the band's back together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Like I missed creating like being in this weird world of like like your dad really turns it on. Like oh, he's he so funny. funny. And, like, yeah, watching all he of was it happen. killing me. And Morgan was so great at telling the story, and I was just like, wow, I felt like I was just so excited to be there. Yeah. So, yeah. And Buckle Up, part three is a ride. It's honestly my favorite. Like, I don't want to be negative to your others because they're great, but part three is like a full blown movie. It is, it's a movie length video, and it's really fun and fantastic. So, honestly, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm scared as fuck. And I'm so annoyed about how scary it is. I sent it to somebody because I wanted to know if it was boring or not. I'm like, can you just watch it? A friend of mine, I'm like, can you watch it and tell me if it's boring? Just be brutally honest. And she was like, I, I've i never had so many things in my house go crazy when I started playing no, it. No, see, I Like can't her watch TV it. turned off and then her lights were flickering. Then her cable she... box started glitching. And she tried to send me a voice memo and it was said zero. Like it wouldn't send. And she's like, every time I tried to watch it, something crazy was happening. Which is interesting because I felt that too when we when I was editing it. Like I would text Chris and be like, oh my God, like this just happened. What the fuck is going on? And But I think well, it's good. And he, Chris keeps saying to me, he keeps trying to be like, well, I believe in blah, blah, blah. And I keep being like, don't fucking tell me. Like I can't know things that aren't like out in the world yet because I'm really bad at keeping secrets. <laughs> well, and also that that uh, lady that you sent it to, she stopped watching it at night because it was freaking her out because all those things were happening. And God. she watched it again during the day and all the same, all things, the same happened, things happening. Which is nuts. So I'm excited so to see, see this. if this goes into people's houses. Like, what if it's like the ring? Like, what if people watch it at home and shit starts to get all fucked? No, she knows. That's so fun. Fun. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we I posted on my Instagram that you were coming back on the show. So we got a few questions. Should we take uh, Chris's? Should we take a break? Yeah. Yeah, I have to pee really bad. Okay. But I don't think I can get up because this is really hard to move in. Today's episode is also supported by Talkspace, who we love so much. As the year comes to an end and we're all traveling more to see like our family and our friends, there's a lot of stress on everybody to make sure you have everything sort of like put away before that time comes. And you can kind of get lost in the rat race. So it's really mm. nice to have like a professional on the phone that you can talk to about all of that stuff that's running through your yeah, head. Having you can, an outside yeah. perspective, which is why I've very much so enjoyed talk therapy and I think that you definitely will too. Uh, Talkspace is ready to help you start feeling better with one single message. You can set goals with your Talkspace therapist and develop techniques to cope in difficult times. Talkspace offers individual therapy, couples therapy, and medication prescription services. They're the number one online therapy platform and there are thousands of licensed therapists available for you to match with across dozens of specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more. Talkspace works around your schedule at your convenience with live video sessions and unlimited messages with your dedicated therapist. Uh, I do think having the tools to cope with situations out of your control is so necessary, and especially when the world feels so overwhelming as we're all doing more and more and more. So if you need a little support uh, to help you get through the end of the year and want to start building towards a better upcoming year, Talkspace is here to help match with a licensed therapist when you go to Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month with the promo code the SIP. That's $100 off when you use code the SIP at Talkspace.com. One, two, three, Mark. Where to scare my buddy here? Are you, upset? you don't got to be upset. One, two, three, B, Mark. 
Okay, so we told Instagram that you were coming back on the podcast. We fucking told them. And we got a few questions from the people. We have like three questions from the people and the on repeat. No, I screenshotted more. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, we're both going to be surprised. Mm-hmm. So Lizzie's hosting the Q&A. Did you sit to pee or did you lift your dress? Oh, I'm sorry. oh my God. We'll get to a couple later. of things. Well, no, I looked in the mirror on my way to the bathroom and I was like, wow, I really we did this like i look great <laughs> oh my god i hate you <laughs> and so that was fabulous we did this <laughs> <laughs> yes we did you guys are all lucky i'm not an actual woman i'd be a nightmare. i love when you're like this and i had to like shimmy it all the way up and then finesse my underwear down it was a nightmare mm. Mm. so here's an interesting question from instagram <laughs> end of the world theories actually you know what i just read that for the first time out loud i don't want to know the muslim mortgage is geared <laughs> do you have one i used to think about it a lot um but now i feel like i'm in a different headspace to where i kind of i don't want to think about it yeah as long as it takes me out immediately i don't mind whatever it is i just don't want like a slow death i don't want to be like battling the rest of the world out to survive you like, know what I'm i t- you know what i told somebody once and when they explained what i just said i was like wow what's wrong with me this was a long time ago but i was thinking about it and i'm like oh if i just like got hit by a car right now right yeah like a hit and run and there's nobody else around and i bleed out and it takes me two hours to die like so, the cops will come and stuff my loved ones will come and they'll think i probably died instantly because like i got hit by a car and i died but like i was like but how would i let them know that like no i suffered <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want people to know I suffered. You're like putting your own <laughs> fingers in your bloody wounds and writing in your own blood on this man. I suffered, bitch. And then somebody's like, you want people to think, you know you suffered? Why would you want your loved ones to know that? I'm like, oh, that is fucked up. No, I get it. I want that too. I want them to know how awful it was. Yeah, like I want them to be like, oh my God, he suffered. <laughs> like, that's awful. Like, but yeah, that's bad. Like, I want it, when I die, I want you to think it was like instant. Like, I didn't feel anything. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, next question. <laughs> Sometimes I think about getting a cyanide tablet put into like a hollow tooth in the back of my face so in case shit starts getting wrong, like I can pop it out and crunch it real quick and just like go and not feel anything. I was thinking about that when we took I off on think, the plane today. I don't think we should have that option. <laughs> I think we well, shouldn't. no, because here's the thing. I was thinking about it on the plane today. I was like, but what if I'm wrong? What if the plane takes off and I'm like, oh, this is it. We're going down fast. And I pop that cyanide tablet out and I crunch it. And then they're like, never mind, we're fine. And then I'm like, <gasps> like is there a fail safe? Option. Is there a fail save? No. Just not having it. After anyway, the, secret yeah. spies, get me in the comment section below. Is there a fail save for an accidental cyanide pop in? Anyways, okay. <laughs> what's your workout routine? Um. Well, I have my trainer Jess, who I Facetime with a few times a week, and then besides that, I do the elliptical, Ooh. which he thinks I'm weird because I listen to podcasts. Oh, yeah. I don't listen to music while I work yeah. out. Yeah. While doing cardio. I was like, I can't listen to a podcast while I do a cardio. I'd go zero miles an hour. I'd be like, oh, interesting story. I have to like, I, I listen to podcasts when I walk the dog. But I listen at like two times speed. But then, so everybody's talking real fast. I don't like that though, because then <laughs> things don't awful. land. Like if somebody's being funny, the joke doesn't land in two X speed. I don't know if that's true. So you just like, it's definitely true. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's matter of fact. It's not a, based on opinion. So you're a comedy queen now. Yeah. You, you, have crum- um. you have crumble cookie in your eyebrow. <laughs> okay, also, you- by the way, when we went up to get crumble cookies just now after peeing, he goes, Chris, can you cut the Reese's one for me? Because the main meal. <laughs> I can't do it because the main meals. Mm, that's great. Can you cut me some fun fetty now too, please? Sorry, it's my nails. I have some follow-up questions. What podcast are you listening to, Shane? Oh my God, so many. Okay, I'll go fast because I know. But this mostly, is it's There's not boring. People. The sip, obviously. Okay, there we go. Thank you very well. Yeah, he's forced to listen to the sip. <laughs> um, okay, I listen to Sarah Silverman. Okay. I like um, the I like Jeremy Piven's podcast from Entourage. I love the Entourage podcast. Mm-hmm. I love the Scream podcast. Um, uh, the View. Oh my God, The View <laughs> is coming in. Big hot. Brother. Anything Big Brother related? Oh my God, yeah, he listens to like. Oh, recaps. Uh, Inside of You. What? Michael Rosenbaum. 
What does he talk about? It's called Inside actors? of You. I guess that is kind of interesting, huh? Hmm. <laughs> he interviews actors. My He's favorite actor. podcast is The Business. It's every Saturday by KCRW, and they tell you like what's going on in Hollywood. The like, business. You hear about the walkouts or ICM merging with CAA, and then she interviews people. Very fun. Hmm. 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 Speaking of the Scream podcast, what were your thoughts on the Scream trailer? Oh man, I have thoughts. Okay. I've come to okay. It's how many days? That was five days ago. So I've yeah. I've gone through a lot of different phases. Yeah. So here's where I am today. You've gone through the grieving periods or the grieving phases. <laughs> so let me just say this: I've been following right like very closely ever since the news came out that they were making a fifth one. I've been watching all the videos that all these people make, like rumors and this and that, for like two years. It's been so. Um, when the trailer came out. I mean, I cried when the poster came out, even though I don't really like the poster that much. I still cried because I like, I don't know. Oh my God, Chris texted me about it. Yeah, I like cried about it because I was like, oh my God, a Scream poster. Like, this is my life. Like, I love Scream so much. Like, people don't understand. You don't understand how much it means to me. There's a Scream mask right to the, right next to me. I know. Um, and you kind of look like a, um, a dead Drew Barrymore from the first one. Anyways. Um, I'll take it. Just currently right now, like when she's hanging from a tree. So... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll open it. Um, I got her first. What was the question? Oh, the trailer. Yeah. Sorry, I'll, I'll speed it up. So um, I had very high hopes, but I was very nervous. But I really trust the people that are making it because I like their other movies. And Which other movies of theirs do you like? Ready or Not. Did you see that? Oh, I yeah. really liked that too, mm-hmm. actually. I like that movie. I felt like the tone was good. So Did I'm they like, write okay. it or direct it? Both. Okay. So it's the same people. I... Felt like the trailer reminded me a little too much of Scream 4, which I did not enjoy that vibe of that movie. It was too, like, bright and colorful and glossy. And it, I don't know. I can't explain it. There, It felt like a dream. Like, it was... I did, It felt like a CW kind of vibe. I didn't like Scream 4 for that. I like Scream 4, but... So the trailer kind of gave me Scream 4 vibes. Mm. But I think they're fucking with us. I don't think that the girl that dies in the trailer at the beginning... I don't think she really dies. I think that was fake. Uh, because there's a scene, sorry, I'm getting too into it, but there's a scene later in the trailer where Ghostface has a knife in the hospital and there's somebody in a wheelchair. I think that's her. So there's a whole thing with that. I think they're throwing us off because all the shots were put together that aren't really together. Like when Dewey's walking down the hospital hallway and Ghostface is walking toward him. That's not in the same. Those are different scenes. Like Dewey's not walking toward Ghostface. So I think there's a lot of things that are meant to throw us off to make us think it's going to be like Scream 4 when in reality, I think it's going to be the opposite. So I don't, I like the trailer because I think it's fucking with us. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it's a fake out. Hmm. <laughs> He's hoping for a fake out. I thought the trailer was great. I mean, I know nothing, but the I, trailers to get people like you to want to see it. Yeah. People that watch Netflix and like yeah. Fear Street, all that stuff. But I, I think I think it's a fake out. I think the real movie's gonna look different. I yeah. think they colored the trailer to look very 2021 Netflixy. I hope to God I you're think right. It's gonna this look is, different. Yeah. Well, because you know they know that you're watching the hardcore fan, and they're trying to capture me. Yeah, like they know we're already in. Yeah. So they're trying to get people like you who like Netflix CW stuff. Right. But I think it's going to be different. Like I tr- I really do trust the people that are making it. And I don't think that everybody would have come back if it was going to be bad. And I also do want to say Scream 4 was not my favorite, but Hayden Panettiere was so good in it. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I think she's going to be the opening kill for Scream 5, but I'll just stop there. <laughs> Okay, do we end the show or do we do a few hot topics? I mean, the hot topics seem like a moot point. Okay, well, we'll go through them very fast. J-Lo unfollows A-Rod and deletes all past photos with him. No, she unfollowed Ben. Yeah, what are you well, doing? Well, no, so that's what I thought too, but then I Googled it again and all of those articles are deleted and now it's about A-Rod. So. I don't, so, sound fishy. And here's another thing that's not on this list, but I think... JoJo and her girlfriend broke up. What? This is Lizzie speculation. No, She's it's not scientist. just me. There's people fucking doing like hot, like beat for beat an- analysis on TikTok. Like on the fucking front lines, we're pretty sure Kylie or is her I, name Kylie? I don't Whatever. know. Whatever. JoJo and JoJo's girlfriend are broken up. And Lizzie made my heart drop because she texted me. <laughs> and she was like, I don't know how to break this news to you. And she kept going. I was like, I don't even want to say it. And then I was like, and, okay. Here's what I'll say. Should I just, let's just, let's FaceTime JoJo. <laughs> Could we after this um, looking like this? Hey, 
Jojo. Hey, Jojo. She would literally be like, hi. Like, she wouldn't even care. Yeah. She'd be like, you're a hot dog. Okay, me too. Um, no, Jojo, here's the thing. Here's what I think. I don't know because I haven't seen any of that drama, but what I will say is Jojo's really smart and she's a marketing genius. Yeah. So she probably was like, oh, let's fake break up while I'm on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. So she's probably keeping that mystique going. And then after that, she'll be like, all right, girl. Yeah, but like, here's the deal. They have four anniversaries a month. They have not recognized any, including their nine month anniversary. And I guess they maybe they just realized that's crazy. Now. Yeah, it's too much. You think Jojo realized something's too much? <laughs> okay. Are you fucking kidding me? She got rid of the bow. Here's the other thing. The girlfriend's back in Florida. And Kyle, uh, Jojo posted a photo saying, like, I've never cried as much in one week. Like, this is my cry extreme for the week, but also my high extreme for the week because I love my Dancing with the Stars partner. And before that, she, her girlfriend, and the dance partner were at Disneyland doing TikToks together bright and sunny beautiful people and now the girlfriend is gone when that bitch was in jojo's bed every night at every press junket okay question do you talk to your husband about stuff like this and what Honestly, does he say i do <laughs> and does he just look at you like he says who like who are these people okay. Okay, well, she's JLo's not following Alex Rodriguez or Ben Affleck. So I don't know if she's just never been following them and people are making something out of nothing, but I just thought it was a bold choice. Well, that's all. Is it all? Yeah. Okay. Shane, thank you very much for coming on the podcast <laughs> once again. Thank you for your Hot Cheetos outfit. Happy Halloween, everyone. It's still a week away, but um, yeah. And next week we'll be dressed up again. Mm -hmm. Get ready. You're not ready for it's what some I'm of my best. She work. doesn't have any. Do you have anything? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. She does. Mm. She has to have something. Uh, Are oh. you just gonna be a different thing in a hot dog? <laughs> you should be JoJo in a hot dog. <laughs> Figure it out. Can we fly JoJo out right now? Yes. <laughs> She's busy with Dancing with the Stars. Um, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of the podcast. We'll see you next Wednesday. If you want to follow us on social media, we're at the Sip Official. We're also on there personally. You can follow Shane as well at Shane Dawson. And on his YouTube channel, there is part three dropping very, very soon. It's the best part of the series, in my opinion. And if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you can watch the two leading up to it. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to follow Lizzie on her journeys of being... <laughs> a hot dog vampire <laughs> Christopher behind the camera is crispy station I'll shut up now thank you so much uh, goodbye and, and that's, that's the sip, sip. <sighs> um, I just itched a deep wound I have on my knee and I'm concerned I'm bleeding out <laughs> it's you it's probably me I got blood coming out of a lot of Orphes right now Whoa. sorry guys let's go to steakhouse <laughs> cutting cutting <laughs>